Okay, so what I want to show you now is how to add objects. So we're going to add a basketball. Okay, we're going to make a basketball using Pivot. There are so many new features that are so cool, and I'm, I'm really not super good at making things in Pivot. I have a student who makes the most amazing objects in Pivot, uh, Nathan Marcelino, who has his own YouTube channel, which I'll probably post here, and you should go see his stuff and maybe send him questions of things you'd like to see him make. Um, but you click on File, Create, uh, figure type. They also have create text object. That is so cool. That's a new thing that I, I'm very excited about. But um, create figure type. And in create figure type, you always start with this just basic line tool, which is kind of the basic building block of, of uh, Pivot. But we're going to make a basketball. So um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to just attach a circle to this shape. I think I'm going to attach it to the red dot. And we're going to click, and then we're going to click again to make the shape. Then we're going to click on the blue dot that's a part of this line. And that's selecting the line. And in fact, it even says right here, line, round. And then we're going to click the X, and we're going to delete that. Now we have just the circle. And you can see it says circle. And it says how thick it is. Now, all we have to do, they have this new feature where you can change fill with just pressing the F key. Boom, fill. And then this is the color, H, I guess. Oh, look at that, H. and then. You do that, boom, I now have an orange basketball. Now to get it into the animation, you can't drag it over, but you can go File, Add to Animation. And I'm just going to call it Basketball. You also have the option, now this is really cool, for those of you that create a lot of things and want to use them over and over again and not have to redo it. Um, OK, so there it's added to the animation. Now I can go to edit it again, and I can open that basketball. And you could go in, and you could add lines to it and get crazy, which I am not going to do. But you can go here and say, Save As. And you can save it as an STK. You can make a folder of all your favorite objects. Then you can actually just insert those objects again into other projects. So if you are an animator who does a lot of work, that would be a really handy thing to do. But you don't need to do that for my class. Um, but for right now, we're just going to add that basketball in, which we did. And then if you go over here to add figure, you'll see that basketball is now one of the figures you can add. And you can add another person. Always drags the person right into the middle. So I like to, oops, like I like to click off of it. Oh, let me click on him. Let me click once on him. There we go. Now I have that selected. There's something weird that happens with the selection of things, like how they're double selected. So sometimes you have to click off of them to, to do that. Um, so there you go. There's my people. There's my basketball. And then I'm going to make just a line to put on the ground. So file, create figure type, or control, alt, f. Well, I'm going to try that. Control, alt, f. Oh, but I didn't want to edit that figure. I want to create a new figure. So file, create figure type. Oh, OK. I guess I'll just, I guess I'll just uh, edit. Hmm. How do I start with a new one? Oh, maybe I just go file new. Hey, look at that. There we go. So I literally just want to make like a long line that I can use. So um, when you grab, I think the control, yeah, control lets you grab the um, line. And it, also, you can zoom in and out now. So if I hit the minus sign or the plus sign, I can zoom really far out. And you can see the zoom right here in the bottom right-hand corner. Um, so if I want to go out and just drag it a little bigger, um, also, if you hold, I don't know, shift doesn't do the same thing. So anyway, I'm going to just make a line. I'm going to zoom back to regular 100%. It's kind of a long line. But that's what I was looking for. And I'm going to go File, Add to Animation. And I'm just going to call this uh, Floor. OK, now I have a floor. And you can hold Shift or Control, I'm sorry, and drag out any like red dot, pulling it away from an orange dot. So I can make this a floor that goes all the way across. Now, I don't know if there is a feature that lets you like lock uh, the shape into a certain like angle or whatever. But I'm just trying to get it as a level as I can. So now I have a basketball. And I have a guy. Oh, and now that the stick and the floor are connected, I'm going to have to click on something else. There we go. Got the basketball, the guy, and the floor. I'm going to get rid of this other guy by just clicking on him and hitting the, I wonder if I just hit the delete key. Yep, the delete key. So there you go. This is the start of an animation we're going to do where we're going to practice some basic graphic physics, and they're all using stuff we created 100% in Pivot, Pivot 5.1.4 beta.
fancy.